So dual screen or foldable, which is actually better for mobile gaming? We're about to find out with LG's announcement of the LG G8X and Samsung reintroducing the Galaxy Fold. It's time to see which of these two are better, of course, for mobile gaming. Let's check it out. Yesterday at IFA, uh, LG announced the G8X, which is the next iteration of the G8. Now, in terms of processor and performance, it still has a Snapdragon 855, not 855 Plus. Uh, it's got, of course, you know, a gigs of RAM, you know, 120 gigabytes of storage and up, yada, 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 all that fun stuff. But what makes this different is that it also has the same dual screen case that you would find with the LG V50, except it's been improved, which allows you to do some dual screen gaming. Now, we saw that in the V50, we had some issues. We didn't like the fact that some of the controls just weren't responsive. In terms of mapping the controls, you couldn't do that. But things are different on the G8X. Now, the screens have the same resolution, so it's the same 2K on both screens. Also uses USB Type-C to reduce lag instead of the pogo pins, which the V50 had. So it's nice to see that there. Has the ability to, of course, map out a controller, which is nice. So if you're in that mindset of doing some very serious mobile gaming, yes, you can use your G8X on its own and game, but put it into the case, you have the ability to now go ahead and start gaming uh, using that controller. And what LG has done is that allows you to make your own custom controller, which is nice. So creating that custom bed for you to map out your controls properly. Uh, and they've also talked about partnering with different companies who have custom controllers uh, for those games downloadable. So you can have a custom controller for Fortnite made by Epic. You can have one for PUBG uh, made by, you know, the guys from Tencent. So those are the kind of things that uh, make a lot of sense. And I like that. But again, it's cumbersome because you have to carry this case around and the case is rather thick. But it's not as expensive as if you were going to a foldable phone, which brings me over to the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Samsung also announced uh, two days ago that the Fold will be available again for launch in certain markets around the world, uh, starting of course with Korea, which is available now, uh, UK and parts of Europe, and then towards the end of the month in September in the US. Now, the good thing about the Fold is that yes, it folds and opens. It gives you a much bigger display. So you now have seven inches, 7.3 inches, continuous display, doesn't have a split, and your, your controls are on screen. And from my gameplay experience, it feels really nice and comfortable. But you know, one of the things about the Fold is that yes, it's still powered by the Snapdragon 855. There's no word about 855 Plus. Granted, 855 is a great processor does come with 12 gigs of RAM and does come with UFS 3.0, so faster read and write speeds. That should help your gaming a little bit more. But in my mind, what are the clear benefits here? So let's first take a look at gaming on the G8X and also the V50, just to give you some idea here. So that's actually pretty cool and interesting. How about the Galaxy Fold. So looking at both of them, you know, I do like what the Fold brings to the table, but I don't like the price. It's $2,000 and yes, I like what I see with the Fold, but do you want to spend $2,000 on a device for gaming? Probably not. That's probably not what you're thinking. And LG hasn't stated the price of the G8X, uh, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be around the $700 range, which is more affordable. And they might have some bundles with the case. If not, the case would be about $150 uh, or maybe $200. Bucks. So that kind of brings the price up, but it's still not $2,000. So you have something very different that you can use. Now, we have to see how well you can map those controls and if games like PUBG, which is notorious for not letting you map your controls uh, to a controller, um, will be will apply. And I think that will make a whole lot of sense. But with the Fold, you do have the ability to, to use the screen well and playing with touchscreen controls, which games like PUBG, work out very, very well, at least from my experience using that device. Now, the other thing too is that yes, 
it we would like to use controls. You've seen my video on the GLAP Play, which I used on the Galaxy Note. Check out that video too if you're looking for a controller for the Galaxy Note 10. Absolutely fantastic controller to go pick up. And I'd like to see some offerings like that. Right now, I think a dual screen is nice. It's a nice option. A fold also is nice, but I think one has to do with price, the other has to do with practicality. But I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about dual screen gaming or foldable gaming? Which is better for you? Let me know what you think, guys. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're almost at 10K. Thank you. This is my other channel uh, here on YouTube, and I hit 300K on my main channel. So I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you very much, and always enjoy your entertainment.